Back in the 1960s, when brand new motorways were popping up and down the country, London had highly ambitious plans such as the infamous Ringway project. This was a scheme which consisted of the construction of four ringways with several radial motorways linking them together. The section that was mostly constructed was Ringway 3. This consisted of the M25 and a little lost motorway called the M16 and only 59 miles of the motorway was actually constructed as the M25. The other 25 to 30 miles was actually built as the M16. The first section opened as, as an all-purpose A1178 and it opened like this because the plan was for when, motor, when extra motorway was added for that to be reclassed as a motorway. Another well-known section was east of the A1M, where the carriageway splits off to allow space for the never-constructed mainline, where it would have linked up to what is now just a spur through Watford. Two years after the cancellation of the Ringways project, in 1975, the Department of Transport announced that there would only be one orbital motorway around London, the M25 meaning that the proposed route of the previously named M16 would be built from Junction 23 to Dartford, but there were changes made to the original plan which changed the routing of the M25 running north past Dartford instead of east towards Maidstone giving us a short motorway called the M26. Going back up to Dartford the southern approaches up to Dartford were already under construction, meaning that the design had to be hastily altered, creating a whole new section between the present junction 3 to 5. And the sections that were already opened as the M16 were renumbered, and bits that were constructed as Ringway 4 had to be bolted together with Ringway 3, including the construction of a new junction at Hunton Bridge and in 1986 the M25 was fully completed. If you have don't forget to like the video, comment and subscribe and if you haven't already check out the video I made on Wells Lost Motorway.